All right, so today I'm in my new shower, in, in my third version three van build. I'm in my new shower, and I want to demo that shower to you and show you how I worked on it today. And I also wanted to show you a new way to shower. I got this handy dandy tool, and I'm gonna show you that too. Hey guys, so today what I need to do to finish up this version three build is to uh, finish out my bathroom. Uh, my shower area and uh, you know if you already saw the previous videos you'll know that I already have a you know emergency number two situation here and then yeah I would you could sit back here and uh, you know take care of, of that or number one if you need to it's up to you but anyways I do want to shower I don't want to do number two but I do want to shower back here um, so I need to make this area my shower area. Okay, so it looks like I think I'll be able to keep this here just as it is after all. And what I want to do this time is I want to go back in time a little bit and and use the dog bath that I, I did a few years back. Um, I want to use try to use this the dog bath again for this build. And I'll try to do this with one hand. Actually, I'll flip it around. You know, this thing's great. I had it in my element build in the, the very first shower I did a number of years ago. And um, it's, it's very durable. You know, it's made to handle dogs and their claws and stuff like that. And it folds up real nice. And one nice thing about it, one problem that I had uh, with the other shower with the plastic disposable showers, when I was on an incline and, and the water was going this way. It was very hard for me to guide the water into the, to the nozzle because the, the bag was flexing you know, so much and it was so flimsy. But for this one, you know, it would be very easy for me to just guide, show you. It will be very easy for me to just guide all the water into uh, the drain that I have over there. And I'll be, and this actually, fits really well. It fits underneath the bed. Uh, let me show you. All right, so that's the way it fits. And it, it, I didn't plan it, but it worked out well. It fits underneath really well. And there's my drain. So I'll be able to access that really easy. And I'll be able to sit right here. I'll be able to sit right here, you know, pull the shower curtain and, and all the water is going to go in here. So what my challenge is to to make a, a deck right here that's waterproof and then the water could just run off into here so that all the water goes that way down the drain. All right, so I decided to just kind of go with the, the curtain covering up all the, the wood stuff. Uh, I decided not to go with the, the plastic bins that are waterproof, but I'll just kind of cover up the wood. And basically everything would just run off and then I'll trim trim everything to the height of the dog bath, which is basically just right over the edge. So that's gonna work out all right. So I have every, it mocked up. I got these hangers, I these ropes, lines, fishing line. Uh, it's gonna look something like this. So next I'm gonna need to trim it down to clean up all that mess because you don't want all that dangling water's gonna collect and uh, worse, you might step on it and then just drag everything down. So that's not good. So you want it to, you know, just be a little bit above the ground. So another thing I'm gonna do that um, that I learned from the past one is, you could see this is kind of dangles and it it goes over your head and it's 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 really tight, even though there's more space to be had. You see, there's a lot more space, and the reason is, you know, the hangers when when you put it up here, it it, it hangs too far over. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna. I'll put some Velcro around the edges so that this thing contours better so it gives me a bigger bath area. It's a little hard to see, but I, I put in this uh, braided fishing line across here and I just tied it to uh, this um, the shocks. So when the, the door closes, it'll give me a, a good height. Okay, so what I do is I put in the Velcro. See, there's some Velcro here, there's some Velcro here, and there's some on um, the door side too. I'll show you that when I wrap around the side. But you know, I, take, I have the Velcro onto the shower curtain too. So what I'm going to do is, when I line up the Velcro, 
through the shower curtain. You can see there's there's that indentation right there that gives me a lot more room and it's gonna look a lot more like a, a, a shower bath stall area so let's take a look on the inside and see what it looks like okay so here on the inside I put that velcro there and let me put this down so I could hang things up all right so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook uh, these carabiners and I'm using carabiners because uh, they're, they're more secure than uh, just the shower shower normal shower curtain rod hooks these carabiners you know that they'll, they'll, they'll lock and it won't slide out so this is you can't see it so that's on that line that fish line that's across the door that I told you guys about earlier. And over here is where that Velcro is, so I'm going to just line it up. And there you go. So let's take a look. All right, so that's the way it sits with the Velcro. You can see that the cavity is real nice. And there it goes to the ground. And let me sit in it. All right, so here I am sitting in, in my shower area. Let me sit back a little bit. And you see there, there's even more room back here if I want to lean back, yeah. You know, for the most part, I'll, I'll be just sitting like this, taking a shower, you know, take, um, cleaning myself off. And uh, this hangs over my head, you know, just a little bit. And I could have, you know, moved it back a little bit, but I wanted to use that fishing line approach uh, going across, So, but, but it's okay. It'll keep the splashing down anyway. But uh, this is the way I'm going to sit. Let me show you how it looks over here. So there are my legs and my, you know, my feet can go underneath here. There, there's plenty of room there if I wanted to do that. And it's still all in the bathtub. Uh, let's come around here and see. see so like I said, there, there's plenty of room under there if I wanted to stretch out a little bit more. But uh, that's the way it looks. Okay, so next up, I need to take out the dog bath and uh, put the drain onto the dog bath and drill, not drill a hole, but I'm going to cut a hole and put a drain and uh, I'll leave a link onto the, for you on for this dog bath. I, I've left it in previous videos, but I'll do it again and then I have this marine drain that uh, I, I'm going to use for my disposable shower. Um, so it's basically, yeah, I'll show you what it looks like. It's just this screw and this and then this. So if you cut a hole, you could just screw this in. And it's pretty shallow, so that, that's the that's nice thing. Um, using a, a drain from like the Home Depot for a normal sink, you know, it's, it's, the shaft is very long, but this is very short. And it, it fits into my drain pretty well. All right, so I drew the circle using uh, this as the template. Cut that out, and this should fit in perfectly. All right, so I got that in there. And now I'm just going to screw it in. I'll put the phone down and do it with two hands. All right, so I got this in, and I'm going to put it in that hole. Alright, so it's in there. Let me take a closer look. Alright, there it is. It's in the hole and um, see when, when you're when you're um, showering, you know, it's possible that this could lift up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna get a tube. I'm gonna put a tube on this guy so that it's a little bit longer so that the chances of it lifting up is uh, super low. All right, so I didn't have the right size tubing laying around, so I just kind of made my own out of PVC and some of this, you know, waterproof tape thing. We'll, we'll see how well it holds, but uh, it'll be fine until I find a better tube. All right, so here you can see it'll be able to slide down there and it won't fall off or anything like that. It'll slide back up. 
All right, and since this will be used as my seating area, I'm gonna carpet it to make it slightly softer. And when I store things on it, it'll stay on a little bit better too, when it, it doesn't slide around as much. All right, I got this piece cut out. So now I'm gonna glue it down with some wood Gorilla Glue. Spread it out and push it down. All right, I'm gonna use my water bottles to try to weigh these things down a little bit. Of course, I put water in them. Okay, so I got the carpeting in and I got the bath in. And the nice thing about these walls is, uh, these collapsible walls is it, it, even though it's a round dog bath, you can see I'm able to contour it to the pretty much the exact shape of what I need here. You know, everything fits really well. Uh, kind of dumb luck, nice surprise. Everything fits perfect. There's my drain. And uh, at the end of the shower, if uh, all the water's not out, you just kind of lift it up and then get everything towards the drain and then you're gonna be good. All right, so I couldn't get the camera angle in to show you me folding it up, but this is how it folds up. It folds up really nicely underneath. It just tucks away. You just fold it up and shove it in. Um, so when I'm traveling, when I'm not using it, that's the way it's going to look. It's not going to take up a lot of room at all. All right, so the last thing I need to do is to have a, another curtain go over here because, you know, I, I don't want to get my bed wet while I'm showering. So I need to put another curtain there and then uh, we're ready for all our right, demo. All right, so here's the way it looks. So instead of hanging the shower curtain up, I decided to just drape it over the bed. I think this works better and it gives a, a little bit more room, a little bit less claustrophobia. There's the way my shower stall looks. Not bad. Here's the way it looks on the bottom. Is that around? Not bad at all. All right, let's give this a demo. All right, so the new way I want to show you guys how to shower is using this this uh, sprayer pump uh, that I got from Lowe's, and uh, uh, I'll leave a link on online for you. Um, I'll leave an Amazon link too, but buy it at Lowe's. It's a lot cheaper, and that's where I got it. I think it was like eight dollars. It's a fantastic little thing. You hook it up to a water bottle, and oops, it comes out like this. Oops, pressing the wrong side. And you know you could have the, and your bottle could be sealed. It comes with this cap, and there's a line that goes in. So it's it's really nice. It's self-contained. Um, and it's really inexpensive. I think it's like seven, like I said, seven or eight dollars. I'll leave a link on it. Uh, it's battery powered. It's not lithium rechargeable, but you know, it uses regular double A's. That's okay. All right, we're gonna shower with this sucker. Put that in there. And um, when I'm actually showering, it, the, the, of course, the the car won't be opened up like this. This is for the demo. Um, so. The, the shower curtain would go right here, but I just opened it up for you to see. But today, I'm actually in swim trunks because uh, I do plan to get a little wet and I want to show you how well this works. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, oh shoot, got my car all wet. <laughs> Let's shoot it this way. Um, but we're actually gonna put on some soap so you can see how well that works. Uh, you know, I don't have a lot of hair so it washes off pretty easy on me and if you're one of those poor unfortunate people with lots of beautiful hair, well, it sucks for you because you can't shower as easily as I can. I'm sorry, I just needed a moment. Anyways, well, let's get back to the shower demo. So you already saw how I did all this, so let's give it a shot. So the, another nice thing about ha putting the the, sh the other shower curtain right here over the bed is that you know, I could use it to hold my, my cleaning supplies. You know, all the water will just flow down and you're in good shape. Wow, not bad, not bad at all. All right, let's get some soap on. And then you guys can see how well it washes off.
So, anyways, works pretty well. It only used that much water. And, you know, it's really water efficient. So, uh, you know, it's not spraying too much and it's not spraying too little. Uh, so, I think it's pretty fantastic for a $8 device, battery powered. And not just that, you could take it around your campsite and, uh, you know, use it as a water dispenser too. Fantastic new way to shower. Um, I like my new shower here too. There's a lot more room. I can move around a lot freer. Uh, so, fantastic. That's going to be the last thing for this van build. Next up, I'll show you guys the full van tour of everything. I forgot to mention. If you haven't seen my previous video with four different ways to shower, this is the fifth way to shower. Uh, you could click the link up there and you could see the four previous ways I had to shower. So now it's milling time. Nah, I don't drink Miller. You know what I mean. <laughs> 